What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. As you guys know, I recently got a silver PlayStation 2 Slim. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some of my favorite PlayStation 2 video games. So not everything on this list were the top video games that were released on the PlayStation 2, but they are my favorite ones that I remember playing as a kid. So let's get right into this. So up first is The Simpsons Hit and Run. This game came out in 2003 and was known for being a family-friendly Grand Theft Auto clone. You play as the Simpson family and Apu, and in different levels of the game you play as a different character in a different region of Springfield. It is an open world with lots to do, main story missions, side quests, races, and more. To find out the secrets of the security cameras, the mysterious vans, the crop circles, and the new Buzz Cola flavor that is apparently making everyone insane. This game was a lot of fun and a huge part of my childhood, and I loved this game. Next up is Need for Speed. Now, for this one here, I couldn't narrow it down to just one game because I pretty much enjoyed the entire series. The main ones that I remember playing on the PlayStation 2 are Need for Speed, Underground, Underground 2, Most Wanted, Carbon, Pro Street, and Undercover. That stretches roughly between 2003 and 2008. The main thing that I loved about these games is they focused on customizing your cars the way you wanted to. But they also had great street racing and an amazing story to follow. Next up is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. This is one of my favorite Grand Theft Auto games of all time, mainly because the map was so huge. It was basically three huge areas. The first one is unlocked whenever you start the game, and to unlock the others, you had to advance in the main story for the game. In the game, you play as CJ who returns to Los Santos after the murder of his mother to get his old gang back together. And throughout the game, you find the truth behind the murder of his mother. There is a lot to do, but some of the stuff before you can actually go and do it, you have to do a little bit of the story mode in order to unlock it first. Such as the mod garages, the restaurants, the gyms, and the shops, and also a few more. You can also change how CJ appears. By going to the gym, you can make CJ buff. Or if you go to the restaurants and eat a lot, you can make him pretty overweight. This game for me was so much fun because you had the choice of pretty much how you wanted to play the game. You could customize your character to be overweight, buff, you could have him change up his appearance completely and make him look completely different, which if you guys know with the newest GTA, GTA 5, that's stuff that you can't do it. Also in the game, you have access to different areas, which in the newer games you don't have access to as much stuff. So Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, in my opinion, is my favorite Grand Theft Auto game of all time. Next up is Stuntman Ignition. In this game, you play as a stuntman and to advance to the next scene, you had to follow the director's orders on how to do the stunts. In the game, there are six movies and each movie has six scenes. The fictional movies you play throughout the game are Aftershock, which is a volcano disaster movie, Whoopin' and Hollerin' 2, which is a parody of the General Lee, Strike Force Omega, which is a military thriller, kind of like the A-Team. Overdrive is a Starchy and Hutch parody, pretty much. Never Kill Me Again, which is kind of like a James Bond parody. And Night Avenger, which is a parody of the 1989 Batman movie. This game is a fun racing slash action game. And even though you had to do things in a certain way, you had to do what the director said. If you went above and beyond and made the scene even more epic than what the director wanted, you'll get bonuses. And that's what I used to do. I used to always up what the director wanted me to do. This game by far is one of my favorites. Next up is Burnout 3 Takedown. This is a racing game where you can perform takedowns on your opponent by slamming them. This is a racing game where you can perform takedowns on your opponent by slamming into them, causing them to wreck. It is a very fun and destructive game. The World Tour mode was the way to unlock the new and faster cars. In the World Tour mode, your goal is to cause as much destruction in the area by smashing into cars or other obstacles. Once you crash, you can no longer drive your vehicle, so you had to rely on your momentum and speed to cause the biggest wreck. Bigger wrecks gave you more points, and you could earn a bronze, silver, or gold for that event, which you could just use to unlock more cars and events. But before you could advance to the next level, you had to reach a specified amount of points, or you would have to replay the level again until you reach that amount of points. This game, based on the destruction alone, was a lot of fun. I recommend it for you guys if you guys love destruction and having to destroy stuff in game. This is a game for you. 
Next up is Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix. Now, I have already mentioned Need for Speed because it is a car customizing game where you can also street race afterwards. But if I had to pick between Midnight Club and Need for Speed, I would pick Midnight Club all the time just because at least in my opinion, it is a game that came from Rockstar and it had a lot more customizing options than Need for Speed did. Now, I am still a fan of Need for Speed. That's why I also included them on this list. But Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix, out of all the racing games I had, this one was my favorite just because it had a lot more options. It also had pink slips, which some of the Need for Speed games you could race for pink slips. This game here had it in it as well, so that's what I was a huge fan of. Now, the Dub Edition is basically because Dub is a car customization company, pretty much. So it is kind of like a deluxe edition for Midnight Club 3. And throughout the game, there is Dub Edition events. And if you win those races that are all in the event, you win the car. And I know for sure there's a Lamborghini and a Bel Air and a few others. I just can't remember what they are. And they are Dub Edition, which means they're highly customized. You can't change those customizations. And whenever you go and customize your cars, if you did have the Dub Edition, it did have a lot more customization options in the game. And Remix basically meant that they added a lot more vehicles in the game than the original Midnight Club 3 would have had. So this is basically like a Gold Edition now. Usually you have a Standard Edition, which would have been Midnight Club 3. Then you have a Deluxe Edition, which would have been Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. And then you have a Gold version, which is Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix. The fact that they had so many customization options, the fact that you could race for pink slips and you could also win dub edition vehicles, for me, it was a lot of fun. That's why it's my favorite racing game. And the last one that I want to mention is Rampage Total Destruction. I honestly forgot about this game. This game is kind of a throwback to the old arcade version of the game, which you could also play in this game. They actually had the arcade version in this game, but the Total Destruction part actually had better graphics. You could go anywhere on the building, not just on the sides. You could destroy it and get a lot more stuff. There's a lot more objectives to it than just the arcade version. You used to have the pixeled version. And you basically just go around the world, city to city, destroying everything. You basically picked your monster, and the more and more you do, the more monsters you unlock. For me, this game was a lot of fun, and I kind of really miss it, but whenever I used to play it, whenever I had my PlayStation 2 to begin with, I loved this game. So these have been some of my favorite PlayStation 2 video games. I know they're probably not the top video games that came out for the PlayStation 2, but whenever I was a kid, these were some of my favorite ones to play. So hopefully I can find them pretty cheap on possibly eBay and I can purchase them just so I get a chance to play them again. But we will see what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what are some of your favorite PlayStation 2 video games and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.